Welcome back, Curriculum Mappers. We are continuing our series of videos pertaining to this wonderful infographic. We have previously covered steps one and two, which were kind of dedicated to getting you organized. Steps three and four were decidedly about setting up that initial form that would distribute unit planner templates to your faculty. So we're going to pick up this video with step five, which is working with the response sheet of this form. So just to review, I'm going to back up just a little bit about step four. Um, and then I'm going to hand it over to Fanny, who's going to talk about using the Autocrat add-on for Google Sheets to distribute the templates. So without further ado, we're going to begin with our template request form. This is the form that we have created um, using the data from the Curriculum Master Google Sheet. So notice that this form gives very little opportunity for teachers to enter any text of their own. Everything in here is driven by that Curriculum Master Google Sheet, except for the unit title. So you'll have to put in the name of their unit and then choose the start and end date of that unit. And once they hit submit, Autocrat, which you'll see later, will do its thing and put the unit into a submission folder right? that you've previously created um, when you were getting yourself organized. So let's go ahead and look at the unit template responses. And I'm going to turn it over to Fanny in just a minute to talk about Autocrat, but there is something you need to do before you set up Autocrat, and that is create the actual template with what's called merge tags. So notice here in our infographic, we have this these symbols here. This is a merge symbol. So these are in our template, and we'll tell the spreadsheet where to put that information in the Google Doc. So I have a unit template. I had opened it previously, but I'm going to go back to the unit template here. And you will notice that there's only this information in, at the top of the document. Um, the rest of these boxes are for your teachers to, to fill in. And one thing that's been really helpful in our situation at Washington International School has been to further develop the instructions in, an, in a filled out template. So we have actually taken this template and given teachers more descriptive uh, language about what should be written mm. in these boxes. So that's always useful. And you could create this as a separate doc as well. So, but the thing to remember with Autocrat is that these merge tags need to exist in your template. So we have arrived now at the response sheet. This is where the data goes when it's submitted in the form. And I'm going to hand the mouse over to Fanny, who will walk us through the installation of Autocrat and then configuring the Autocrat settings. You ready? I am. OK. All right, so here we, ha we are in our response sheet. And the first thing we need to do um, is to go to add-ons. And if you don't have this add-on called Autocrat in your list, just go to Get Add-on and search for it and install it. So in my case, it's already installed, so I'll just open it or launch it. So now we have the template over here. Actually, uh, f in your case, uh, you will need to create a new job. But here we are just going to take you through the, uh, the edition of this, of this um, merge one. Okay. All right, so this is where you will put the name of your merge job. So in our case, send template. After that, you need to either create or um, up upload your, um, your Google Docs. So like we said before, this is the Google Doc that we created with those merged, the tags. And so we've picked it up from Drive, and it's already here. So the next, is, uh, the next step is to match the information from the merge, the template, with uh, the headings from the form. 
So for example, subject in the Google Doc has to be uh, connected to subject area over here in the header of our spreadsheet. And just verify that everything is accurate. And there is something new about Autocrat is that you can, uh, instead of just having a standard text, if you have a hyperlink or an image, you can also merge this into your Google Doc. Okay, so what you can do here is personalize your title for your Google Doc. So you can go to this drawer and pick up whatever you want to use. For example, I'm going to use um, teacher and it will copy it to my clipboard and then I just need to go wherever I want to put it and just paste the information. Okay, I can put a space in between, a dash, whatever I want. Okay, so you can make it as long as you want. Just make sure that it's easy for you to identify uh, the unit planners. I'm just gonna remove this one for now. Then it will create a Google Doc. You could do a PDF, but in our case, we want the teacher to continue editing it. Uh, so we want a Google document and we want to have um, separate documents for each row of data, but we could have a single document. Mm, I don't think it will serve uh, the purpose of this um, process. The next one is to choose the folder. So in getting organized, you would have already created a folder where you want to uh, have your units submitted. So this is the one you can choose. This is the uh, dynamic folder reference. It's just an option that isn't necessary for the curriculum mapping use of uh, Autocrat, but you may find that you have if you wanted to add it into a secondary folder, you could create a condition for that. But for our purposes, we're going to ignore uh, step six. Okay. Step seven is to set merge condition. And once again, we, are, we don't use condition in this example. So I'm just gonna go to the next step, which is sharing documents and sending emails. So this is really important. Yes, we wanna share the document. And we want it to be editable because we want the teachers to continue editing it. Uh, remember, this is what we're doing now is just replacing those tags, but then we want the teachers to continue editing uh, the, um, the Google Doc. And we want them to be able to reshare in our case um, if they want to collaborate with someone else. And we want to send mm, them an email so you could you, you could decide that you want a no reply address, it's up to you. And then personalize your email. So once again, here you can uh, use the drawer and pick up username because this will be uh, the email address of the person submitting. And you can create um, your own text, uh, again, using the tags. So ours is really simple. We just go to the next step. Okay, the last step is now to decide what trigger we want to use to start uh, running Autocrat. So we are going to use both actually. Uh, so run on form trigger. So whenever someone submits a form, it's going to run Autocrat. So it will take a few seconds uh, before you receive the email in your inbox and you get the document in your folder. And we also do it on time trigger every hour, just in case uh, it misses the first one. Uh, it shouldn't happen, but it's just an extra. Um, Can I just contribute yeah. one more comment? So the first time you do this in Autocrat, you won't see a yes or no, because you first have to enable mm. the triggers. Um, and that's probably what you see if this is the first time you're going through. But then if you go back to edit your job, like we're doing right now, then you'll be taken to this screen, which has the run on form trigger yes or no option but triggers do need to be enabled before they can be uh, before you can decide to use them okay so that's it that's uh, that's all you have to do um, so I hope this was useful and we're gonna see you very soon for the following videos bye 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 bye